not helping me, are they? Why do you think so? Neither you nor Dad tell me anything, but I can feel it. You know, I worked in a lab for many years, and I saw the test results of people who shouldn't survive. But they survived anyway. I went to talk to them. I wanted to understand what they had in common. Do you know what it was? They all wanted to live. I guess I have no reason to. I don't do anything. I just sit and read books. <laughs> well, you can. Oh, you can read books to kids who aren't able to read, for example. You can talk to them. You are so smart. You can give advice. I, for one, need some advice. There's this man that I, that I really care about. He found out he had a son and his son was sick. And today I got a hope that I could help them, help save the son. I was so happy. I was running all over the hospital, trying to find him so I could tell him. I saw him with the boy's mother, and they looked like one together. Because shared grief is very bonding, you know? <sighs> I saw that, and I felt redundant. And you didn't say anything to him? What happens if you don't help him and the boy dies? Will you be able to be happy? Thirty-three weeks, threat of premature labor, bleeding, ultrasound was done, retroplacental hematoma. The baby is as expected from its term, blood flow normal, dyspnea, cough, subfebrile temperature, blood, C-reactive protein is in. Abruption? Natalia Vladimirovna, she has airway obstruction, respiratory distress syndrome, she can't have surgery. Is they all ready? Let's go. Masha, call right away, I'll be there tomorrow. Husband? Yes, yes, hello. Did she have a cold? A month ago she caught something, had a fever for a long time. Uh-huh. How'd you treat it? As usual. Cupping and tea with raspberry jam. Uh-huh. Did you see a doctor? Yes, yeah, she did. She scared me, said that there was a strain of flu going around. She prescribed her a lot of medicine. Did she take the medicines? No, we didn't take them this time. We were worried about the baby. Smoke? Yes. A lot. Two packs a day. Has she stopped during? She still smokes. Drinking too? Well, I wouldn't say that she drinks a lot, but sometimes. Damn. Natalia, the operation will kill her. Complication from the flu. We'll need to manage the bleeding conservatively. I think inaction will kill her. Natalia, stop the operation. Are you nuts? Get out of the OR now. Oh, we've seen this somewhere before. Ruslan, get out of here, quickly! What the hell are you doing? What's going on here? She's got sepsis, a part of a lingering infection. Her immunity level fell down thanks to the smoking, obesity, and other joys of a healthy lifestyle. Plus a total refusal of treatment, three times she was almost admitted. That's all fine, of course. But she has a placental abruption. It's very small. The baby's not suffering. We can manage conservatively. And what do you suggest? Antibacterial, detoxification, and hemostatic therapy. Uh-huh. All right, go ahead. 
This is your patient now. Natalia, don't be a child. Honest to God, you'll thank me later for not letting you expand your medical cemetery. I don't want to talk to you. What else do you want with... I was saving her patient and she's fighting me. Oh, Natalia, I have news for you. I talked to the Foundation, which works with our pharmaceutical company, and they will fund the operation for your son. The paperwork is on its way. Vladimirovna, I'm sorry to save the patient. You know what the most important thing about being a doctor is? Not sensitive hands, not a swift brain, not the ability to stay awake for two days. The most important thing is their lives. And that should always be the most important. More important than relationships and politics. You have everything you need to be a doctor. Why are you still stuck giving drips? I got into the first medical university this year, in Moscow. The one you went to. But I didn't go. Why? I got scared. Hi, are you looking for someone? Yes, Rosalind Bazinov's office. Lucky me. I happen to be going the same way. Oh, really? Are you here for a consultation? What makes you jump to such conclusions? You seem fine. What do you mean? I mean everything. Oh, then yes. Through the hall to the left. Bazanov is always to the left. It's not just an ass, it's a delicacy. And she shows it off with such pride. It's just amazing. Yeah, what do we use to judge people? Weight, age, and bank account balance. Stasek? Hello, feisty girl. I take it our mutual friend didn't inform you that I was coming. What brings you here? Well, Rosalind is now an important surgeon. I am modestly, quietly, taking his place. You know, to help women fight nature, turn back the rivers and so on, you pretty much know everything. Why do you need it? You have a husband, a career in Moscow? It's good to see you too, Natalia. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god, who is that? So handsome. Has he gotten a little chubby or what? Yeah, yeah. And you too? Ah, oh, Stanislava. God, how pretty you are, huh? Shut <laughs> up. Uh. Hi. Hmm. I can't die for you anymore. I don't get it, do you? Come on, I'll show you your future office. Hmm? Mm. It's 
strong, just the way I like it. Yes, I make good coffee. It's nice that we have similar tastes. I think we have a lot in common. Like I'm from Baku, and you? I'm from Arenberg. Well, I'm lying, of course. I'm from a village called uh, Asakievo. 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 I know. Oh, come on. Do you know Asakievo? I do. My grandfather was in a concentration camp, and there was a kid from Asakievo, and he asked to teach him a bit of the Quran to prove that he's not a Jew. So, did it help? No, it didn't. <laughs> Elena Strezitskaya came to see me. She wants to take your child. Now tell me about it. What? Well, I'm doing an IVF. I've become a surgeon. I'm talking about Natalia. What about Natalia? Please stop the crazy talk. Uh, good afternoon. You're here to see me? Please come inside. She showed unacceptable arrogance and almost killed a patient. I understand she has a small child who's sick, so let her go and take care of him. Look, you can't continue to turn a blind eye to the fact that she simply is unable to adequately fulfill her duties. What do you suggest I do? Fire her? Fire the one who recently removed a baby from a liver and thereby saved two lives? Fire the one who prolonged the pregnancy after the labor began? And because of her efforts, three children were born instead of one. The one who successfully treats the crystal girl. Are you serious? Is that a no? Rania Senatova, forgive me. How old are you? I'm 58. I'm afraid to seem tactless, but... Razlan Evgenievich, I'm not asking you for a son, but for a grandson. My Renatic was 19 years old. He had advanced cancer for three months. I spoke with everyone to arrange a trip to Israel. <sighs> and got him nine more years when Renatic died. I was silent for three months. I would not have survived if it wasn't for my dream. In the dream, I saw some test tubes. I wondered what it was about. And you know, it was like an electric shock. In Israel, the first thing they did was to take his sperm. They said they were preserving our future. Uh, what makes you think it's still in the cryobank? I already have it here with me. The guys from emergency services helped me. So you want us to fertilize a donor egg with your son's sperm and find a surrogate mother? Yes. It will be my life's work to raise my grandson. You know, uh, even if we manage to, if we're lucky when the child is born, you will unfortunately be about 60 years old, 67 when he goes to school, 78 when he graduates, you said that you had no one. I don't understand how you... And you must realize as well, it won't be easy. But this will be his legacy. My son was a very bright person, doctor. I'm afraid I can't help you. I can. This is my card. I'll see you on Monday at 10 a.m. You and I will come up with a plan. I'm also a fertility doctor. My name is Stanislava. Thank you. Goodbye. Goodbye. 
Pity is a very bad motivator. And giving false hope is cruel. You might not succeed with sperm like that at all, which has been lying around for so long. I understand. But do you realize that she went through hell just to get here? And I do not want to be that person to tell her that her only destiny is death. Why did I let you in my office? It's good to see you too. <sighs> Pavel, are you okay? You don't have the flu by chance. Or just a withdrawal syndrome? You know what? You're just good company. Mikhail Bulgogov, Gregory House, but one of them had the muscle cut out of his leg. And you're crying about the rotor cuff? I should have let that bully, your weightlifter's husband, break your skull. <laughs> Here, drink this. It'll help. What have you got there, nurse? Valerian root? Pasca, why the torture? She cares about you. I'm torturing her. Very funny. Yes, they call the oil rig here. I'll be right there. Thirty-six weeks gestation, acute myeloblastic leukemia. Luba, please do a blood test, Saito, and prepare for transfusion. Wait a minute. What is it? It's a rejection. Blood transfusion and organ transplant. They're Jehovah's Witnesses. Let's go. We'll figure it out later. Natalia. Natalia. Wait, please. Uh, can I check with you? Are you working or taking sick leave for childcare? I'm still working, trying to finish all my work before Mishka's operation. Elizarova wants to remove you. And? And I thought maybe I can take you out of harm's way and temporarily send you to the women's clinic. I haven't found a head there yet. Me? Out of harm's way? Oh, well, yeah. I apologize. Natalia, we have a catastrophe. We need you. Go, Natalia. Your mom still hasn't come. You know, hospital pics are more popular than bikini pics. People love it when you feel so bad. No, she hasn't. It's hard to justify her behavior. But you can't understand her. You see, she needs to admit to herself that she lived her whole life with the monster. Don't make excuses for her. She knew everything. Once she found me crying at night, she asked me what was wrong. And when I finally told her, she said, I should go to a literary college, that I'd be good there. Even now, I know she'll say that is my own fault. But you can file a report. We'll do a DNA test. We'll prove it. What? That he raped me? Who would believe that? Even he believes that I seduced him. The skirts were too short, bikini, too much screaming on the court. But you can't leave it like this. Do you want me to call the police? Yeah, I just dream of getting on the news and then hiding for the rest of my life. You think I don't know why you're sympathizing with me? I'm not taking her. I won't. You can stop trying.
She has severe thrombocytopenic syndrome. She had polychemotherapy in the second trimester. Chemo's okay, but it transfusion's not? Well, it turns out that way. The baby's hypotrophic, but otherwise fine despite the mother's acute leukemia. Strange that the disease during pregnancy has only progressed now. Michael, please don't upset me. It's not strange at all. A healthy fetal bone marrow compensates for the mother's hematopiasis. Mm -hmm. And no altruism from Mother Nature, just pure animalistic pragmatism. The mother dies, the child dies. Exactly. That's why the baby is giving her everything. This pregnant fetus symbiosis is the most resilient we've seen. In this situation, her organs and the child's organs are working hard just to get by. With these tests, we can't C-section her or induce labor. It would kill her. We need to do a transfusion. So then what? Back to where we started? To the perversely interpreted injunction in the Bible, deed such and such? Yes. Abstain from blood. Okay. What is that? Please stop it, because a hospital is not a place for religion or any other propaganda. Doctor, do you believe in God? I believe that a person should be saved if they can be saved. Mm -hmm. Doctor, no transfusion. I'd like to hear it from your wife. You've been through chemotherapy. But without a blood transfusion, it will be in vain. Do you realize you're going to die? The end of the world is near anyways. And the realization that Jehovah is not torturing people forever in hell brings true relief. Yes, my darling? You speak of good deeds, helping your neighbor. Don't you see any contradictions? The most important thing in life is true obedience to Jehovah. Right. Got it. Tatiana Dmitrievna, Lyra is waiting for you to come. She doesn't show it, but she's waiting. I... I don't know what to say to her. I... I don't know what to do at all. Why don't you come with me? I think I know someone who's able to help you. Actually, I got pregnant by accident. I had just arrived in St. Petersburg, convinced I was going to conquer the capital. I took a tram on the way to an abortion, and a young man sat down with me, and he said such a strange thing. It is forbidden by law to be sad in May. <laughs> like that, and I just said, I'm going to kill my child. I remember there was a woman who was sitting next to us. She turned towards me, just grunted, and then moved away. He put his arm around me, and from that moment, he never let go. Never again. It turns out that he is the one who saved your child. It turns out that if it wasn't for him, there would be no Lyra. I named her after him. I'd forgotten he wasn't her father. It's me. I'm the bad mom. Okay. Tatjana, let us do this. You know that there's been a disaster in your family. And you know whose fault it is. It's my fault. It's my fault. It's, it's just... It's just me. I just couldn't protect her. Well, wait. Is it too late for you to protect her now? But how? Go to the police station? Has he not committed a crime? Of course your daughter can be seen as Lolita and you a bad mother. But he should be held accountable. 
He's not going to jail. Do you even know who he is? Tatiana, your daughter needs to know that you're on her side and that she knows that she is not guilty of anything. Do you understand that we can't do anything without the patient's consent? What do you suggest? To watch her die, Yuri Alexevich? And you probably want the center to be sued. You want to get your ass kicked. And keep in mind the center and you are not doing very well. Too close for comfort. I remember someone taught me that a patient's life is more important than faith, career, and anything else. Oh, really? I know what you're thinking right now. You think if I save her, God will have mercy on my child, don't you? Natal, do what you think is right, but I didn't give you the okay. Where are you taking her? To the operating room. Your wife's condition has worsened. Then I'm coming with you. That's impossible. Honey, everything will be all right. I promise. I said you can't come in here. Excuse me, are you Fyodor? Yes. Alexei Nikolaevich told me that I should talk to you. About? You see, I'm confused. I am lost. I don't know what to do. Yeah. Yes, yes, I understand. Seven years ago, I was in the same place. Please, it's okay. It's okay. <gasps> it's okay. <laughs> they don't understand me. It's okay. <laughs> They're bullying me. <laughs> They're bullying me. <laughs> I wonder, do you have even a microscopic doubt that you might be wrong? If I let even half of my doubts raise their heads, I would be sitting in a corner somewhere by now, worried about what a terrible person I am. Natalia Vladimirovna, we're all set. He's not breathing, we'll incubate. Yes, Alexei. The children today are weaker than they used to be. Alexander and Tolyevich. Natalia Vladimirovna. Keep pouring platelet mass in plasma. We are, Natalia. We are. What are we going to do about the blood transfusion papers? We go ahead. But we don't say anything to the husband. Of course. Look at this window anymore. Please let me see him just for a minute. Okay. Go ahead.
Pasha, thanks for your help with the blessed guy. I had to sign the apartment over to him. <laughs> A good workout is the best remedy all the way. What kind of workout? Sex? Why not? Olga, what happened? 20 minutes and not a single word? Ruslan, I understand your desire to help the child. I myself would do the same. It's like your whole life revolves around her right now. Really? You're saving her patience. With her, but from herself. And then you come and tell me how she is. Brave, uncompromising, how she's ready to sacrifice herself, even for those who don't want it. Tell me honestly, nothing is over. Tell me and I'll just live my life, okay? Yes, I admire her as a doctor. I learn a lot from her, but that's all. Roslyn, you're very talented. It's time you walked your own path. Don't you see that? Len, maybe you and I rushed a bit. Surprise! Hmm? Well, happy Freedom Day. You know, I thought you were right. Maldives is a cliché after all. Better a chateau in France. A view of the vineyards. Open it. Sixteen years. We've been through an obstacle course, you know. Sixteen years. You got me out of detention when I was facing those ridiculous bribery charges. What do you expect me to celebrate? I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I thought it was all in the past. Hmm. You wanted to discuss something. Yes, my appointment as Kolmogorov's deputy. He is clearly incapable of adequate management, especially at the observation department. Well, and the second issue, replacing Bakmetyeva. I looked into it. There was... A bacterial toxic shock. The fact that the president has not become fatal ties our hands. Natalia is too good for us to fire her just for what might have happened. Don't get upset. Paperwork for your appointment is being typed up as we speak. And that is what we're celebrating.
You have no right whatsoever to be here at all. We will not listen to you. You will be prosecuted. I promise you. Ia, we came to tell you about your daughter's condition. Should we leave? What's wrong? Your girl has severe anemia. She has very low hemodocrit. She needs blood, transfusion, otherwise. She's gonna die. She needs a transfusion. And if you want it, she'll live. Mm. Just your signature and that's it. Aya, after what happened yesterday, we might be able to stay in the community. It wasn't your fault, but now... Fedya. If you sign this paper, you're no longer my wife. Wow. Are you really going to let a child die? And for what? Aya, God will save her. Yeah, except he won't come down in a cloud to do it. He sent this man here. But you're forcing us to betray what's most precious to us. Okay, here's what. Hold this. Hold it. Oh, where is it? What is it? Put it away. Put that away now. Give it to me. Don't you dare. Right here. Uh -huh. You need to see an oncohematologist. You're going to be fine. Okay. You need to get treatment. Thank you. So, you're sure my wife is waiting for me in there? Yes. Mr. Videnikov, you're under arrest. I'm sorry. It's going to be okay. We're going home soon. We'll get our girl and go. No. I'm not taking her. Baby, but it's not her fault. I can't live and every day think about what happened. And what if I... No! You have to choose between her and me. Oh, it's okay. Baby, don't. Mm. Don't. Couldn't shut the riser off for half an hour. Well, Maruska, if we worked like that on the rubble and on the earthquakes, we'd get, uh... Oh, yeah. Mom's here. Well, come on. Put away the toys, because Mom doesn't like the mess. Hurry up, Maruska. Huh? 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 Good afternoon. Hello. Ah, so it's on the fifth floor. Are you going to break into the apartment? My name is Ignatieva Anastasia Yevna. Uh, Child Protection Service? Yes, that's correct. And this is the Somov Rachmatulin family. Yes. Hazardous living conditions. And the girl is half naked and unsupervised. Yes. Actually, actually, we have had a flood here. Okay? In case you haven't noticed, it's from the fifth floor. And the girl is helping you to fix the damage, yes? 
What do you have her doing? Does she mop the floors, forcing children of her age to do housework? Do you know that's illegal? Is that why you adopted her? Why else would you <clears throat> adopt an African-American girl? Okay, so please explain what's going on here. We received a number of calls that the child is being raised in inappropriate conditions. Neighbors complain about constant crying. They suspect child abuse. What are you talking about? She hardly ever cries, not at all, right, Marisha? Ah, a burn on her hand. Are you burning her fingers? Take your hands off the child. All right, mister. If we decide that the girl's life and safety is in danger... Beer? Are you the one drinking, or is it your spouse? So the milk is expired. Okay, it's clear. There is a lack of basic foodstuffs for this child. No wallpaper or flooring in the nursery, may I? Of course. There are scribbles on the walls. And a mattress on the bare floor for some reason. Okay, uh, uh, just wait a second. Marushka, sit down and play here. Here, play with your dolls. My dears, I can explain. The burn was from her spilling coffee. We called an ambulance right away when it happened. Would we have called the ambulance if we had done it to her? Now regarding the products, I mean, there's not too much, but my wife just went to the store and on the stove, we've freshly cooked up some uh, soup for the child. As far as the beer is concerned, uh, one bottle is, excuse me, not a drinking problem. Uh. Oh, gosh, what else is there regarding the uh, room? Marushka has her own crib in our bedroom. Okay, that's enough. You can tell these stories in court. In the meantime, we're taking the child away. Where are her clothes? Hmm? Here? Right. Stop it right now. What are you doing? Mm -hmm. Do you have a court order? No? Then please leave. Or should I call my friends from the FSB? They'd love to hear about the mayhem you've caused here. I want to be with you. You will, Marushka. You will. Very well. We'll be back. Sooner than you think. Goodbye, sir. your dolls. Sit here, next to Daddy. It's all right, Marushka. Oh, 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 Daddy is tired, right? Do you want to play? Go play. Please go play. Go to your room. I'll, I'll just rest here. I'll just rest. Oh, God. Oh. Please sign the paper. No. Don't you understand? She didn't listen to you and thus almost killed the patient. Nadia, do you want to go down with her because of this? Why are you yelling at her? And who are you to tell me what to do, huh? I'm the one who will report you for your Gestapo methods. I have connections. I'll talk to you later, babe. Is it in your job description to humiliate and intimidate? Hush. Thank you. You're welcome. Are you... are you doing anything later tonight? Attention! All doctors in the observation unit to the nursing station immediately. Attention! All doctors in the observation unit to the nursing station immediately. And? Accident at the gym two streets over. They were having a maternity class when the building oh collapsed. Everyone's in their eighth or ninth month. They can't get some of them out. They mm. might need to give birth out there? Most likely. And how many do they expect us to send? Well, about six. We are closest. Call Lazarev. Where's Bazanov? I'm here. You'll go there. Yeah. Alexei Nikolaevich, you're with me. Nadia, you too. I need your hands. My five years in the ER will come in handy too. Yes, very much so. And take Bagger up. He will help with the stress. I'll find him. Don't worry about it.
Refuse to go, do you hear me? Afraid my bone marrow will end up in rubble? Natalia Vladimirovna! Kasha, I need you to be totally focused and completely alert. Do you realize we can't both go? I leave no men behind. It's not a war. You're not a platoon commander. 